When you first see the term bus bar, you may think it's the newest evolution to a pub crawl, a type of bus with a bar in it for anyone that catches a ride. Well, it may shock you to learn it's actually a piece of electrical equipment. A piece that plays an important role though in transporting electricity from one place to another in a safe manner. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Hello, I'm David with Solar Edge Pros, the best solar installer in Texas. And in this video, we are going to talk all about bus bars, particularly how they pertain to solar panels in the Texas area. So what are bus bars? Bus bars are often thin strips, bars, or tubes made out of a metal optimized for carrying electrical currents between different points. Although more expensive than wiring, bus bars last longer and distribute power more efficiently. Less power loss due to distribution, means more available at the endpoint, i.e. your home. In general, bus bars can also weather temperature changes better than electrical components, making them a perfect solution for renewable energy integration. What do bus bars do in solar panels? In solar panels, they are the thin rectangular strips that separate solar cells and conduct electricity. It takes the electrons, once separated from photons by the solar cells, and transfers them to the panel's inverter. From there, the electricity created from the moving electrons is converted from direct current, DC, into alternating current, AC, powering the home. And we'll talk more about powering the home in a different video. In addition to distribution, bus bars help reduce resistance. By reducing the resistance within the interconnection of solar cells, less electricity is lost in the form of heat. Bus bars mini me. In addition to bus bars, solar panels have these even thinner strips called fingers. Solar cell fingers provide much of the same benefits of bus bars, but on a micro level. They serve as mini bus bars for solar cells, while the regular size ones serve the entire panel. Because the solar fingers are significantly thinner, they take up less space, which means more room for solar cells, and they create less shade, which means more sunlight on the solar cells. This shouldn't suggest that bus bars are less valuable. In fact, bus bars can carry a greater amount of current, making them indispensable for yielding an energy production. So the more bus bars, the better? Not necessarily. There are a few factors that can make bus bars more cumbersome than useful. For starters, a smaller solar panel would be better off maximizing the space with solar cells. More metal strips means more material in a panel that doesn't generate electricity and more weight and cost per panel. And if you live somewhere cold like Winnipeg, Canada, you're less likely to need a lot of bus bars because the lower external temperature reduces the resistance. The same is true for the opposite situation. So imagine this, it's a hot summer day and your solar panels are basking in the sunlight. <sighs> this means more voltage. Woohoo, we've got power, baby. But your solar panels only have three bus bars. Well, that's like living in San Antonio with only one highway during rush hour. Yikes. So much of that electricity will be lost in the form of heat because the electrons can't travel fast enough. More resistance, i.e. fewer bus bars, the more electricity will be lost in the form of heat. This may not matter if you live somewhere cold, but if you live somewhere hot like San Antonio, Texas, where temperatures are fairly high and there can be over 12 hours of sunlight a day, Resistance will increase and ultimately lead to a less efficient solar panel system. Another downside of more bus bars is the soldering process. Sticking these strips of metals to the solar panel can create micro cracks in the solar cells. The expanding and contracting strips of metal also cause movement within the solar panel that may increase the micro cracks. But I mean, if you live in Texas, those solar panels are gonna go through hell and back on your roof. You really shouldn't factor in the micro cracks as something that's a decision factor when going solar. Unless you're interested in the solar panels that don't have any bus bars. The final issue with a lot of bus bars is the shiny, reflective look that many people find to be unsightly on their roof. Many homeowners rather a cleaner, more aesthetically pleasing type of panel when given the option. That's why manufacturers have turned to a new design of solar panels. Rear contact solar cells. A few solar panel manufacturers like REC have no visible bus bars and instead use interdigitated back contact, IBC, technology to channel the electricity to your home. Their reliance on complex patterns and razor thin bus bars placed behind the solar cells result in less shading and a cleaner look, while still having plenty of bus bars available for those sunny days. 
IBC solar panels are a relatively new advancement at the time of this video that offers a more aesthetically pleasing panel without sacrificing efficiency. On paper, these panels completely smoke the traditional solar panel design. In terms of production efficiency, design, warranties, temperature coefficient, annual degradation, and many other factors shown on a spec sheet, they outperform their predecessor, making it no surprise many IBC panels are considered tier one solar panels and of course come at a higher price. However, solar installers do have their concerns about it. For starters, IBC panels are delicate. Thinner, smaller, and more intricate components in these newer panels make them more susceptible to getting damaged before, during, and after install. Despite having thinner components, many of them boast high rating ability to withstand hail, and they come with the same 25 year equipment warranty, with some offering a 30 year warranty. The equipment warranties are essentially the same as traditional panels, so don't expect your money back if your IBC panels break from acts of nature. Can they withstand Texas weather? I'll get into that in a little bit. There's a little more to cover on the differences between IBC and traditional panels. Thinner backing. In traditional solar panels, there's a white substrate that covers the rear side of the solar cells. While many IBC solar panels have a similar substrate, the material used is thinner to reduce weight and improve the panel's flexibility. This leaves the panels more susceptible to damage from the point of development to the time of installation. Thinner solar cell fingers. As mentioned before, IBC solar panels still have bus bars and fingers, but they're placed behind the solar cells. A necessary part to keep the distribution of electricity efficient requires the thinner bus bars and solar cell fingers. Although more efficient, these thinner strips of metal can be easily damaged during manufacturing process and installation. Essentially, so long as your panels are working properly, as soon as you have access to their monitoring portal, you'll know if something's wrong. It can take a few days upon commissioning for your panels to report accurate status. For example, homeowners may see different production consumption amounts from their installer for the first three days. After that, the numbers will be accurately calibrated. Solar Edge Pro's experience. In the past four years of solar panel installs, I've compared in-phase systems with IBC panels to in-phase systems with traditional ones, and IBCs tend to outperform traditional by one to 10% in terms of energy production. This would suggest that IBC systems are not only more efficient, but can handle the effects of Texas weather. With that being said, this was done using a small sample size of REC panels as those are the only IBCs we install regularly. It's also important to remember there are other factors that impact energy production, excluding the solar panel, that we can't control, such as roof pitch, panel orientation, and shading to name a few. Hopefully, now you understand the importance of bus bars and why some panels appear to have them while others don't. Those thin metal strips and their little mini-me's help keep your system efficient and durable. If you still have any questions about bus bars, feel free to reach out. Also, if you haven't received a free solar consultation from us yet, be sure to book one either by calling 210-401-9030 or by booking it online at soledgepros.com. Thanks for watching.